This video is a demonstration of using Jack Trip as a near zero latency audio software, streaming software, where you can send audio to the rig and receive audio from the rig on your local area network in low enough latency that you can still paddle and KCW in real time. The audio that you're hearing right now is my voice return audio from the rig's voice monitor. So I'll show you the rig. On its desktop computer we have a camera set up to take a look at it. And we have all the audio or the RF from the rig is going to this dummy load here. And we have it set at full power. And I'll send a, a CW note, and she should see this needle move up to about there. And there it was. So we still we can see that we still have full power. And I just have it set on a 80 meter frequency here. Again, hooked up to the dummy load, so we're not sending RF out to the antenna, just to this 50 ohm load here. So on the rig's computer, and it's using Linux, but Jack Trip has versions for Mac and uh, Linux and Windows. So this will work with any OS. So on the rig, we have the line output. So the rig audio output hooks up to the computer sound card's input, line input. And from the line input, we draw wires over to Jack Trip to the input side for transmitting on the local area network. And we have two laptop, two uh, channels of audio, even though there's just one. We uh, set Jack Trip up so that we could use three channels of audio output, and it automatically matches that to the audio input of Jack Trip. So we use the three audio outputs of jack trip that connect to the rig. One goes to a circuit that takes the audio from the laptop that I'm sending here, CW, and it goes to a circuit. That circuit rectifies the audio voltage and turns it into a keen signal that hooks up to the rig CW jack. And that what, that's what's keen CW, as long as you have it on Vox. We also have a second circuit that does the same thing, only this time if we send an audio signal down the push-to-talk line, it will uh, connect the push-to-talk. And that's for sending uh, Morse code with FL Digi, so that you can activate the push-to-talk first, and then send the CW signal that keys the CW jack. So these first two audio outputs of Jack Trip are used for keying uh, CW on the rig using two separate audio-derived CW keying circuits. And information on that will be in the show notes below. Now the third audio output is just used for voice. And that's what you're hearing now is the, uh, the, the rig's own monitor, the voice monitor that's re you're sending it back down to Jack, Jack Trip here from the rig's audio output to the jack trip input over to the laptop here. The jack trip from the rig's audio line output. I'm going through a low pass filter and then to all these apps and the speakers and the screen recorder so that you can hear it. We're not using three audio outs since we really only need one audio uh, channel just to hear the rig's uh, receiver audio and the, the uh, rig's monitor, the transmit monitor audio. But we need three inputs for the same reason as before. One to send a CW tone, o audio tone output so that it goes to the rig's keen CW jack circuit that keys the CW jack on the rig. And the same thing for the push to talk. So you see on FL Digi here, we have a CW tone coming out the upper channel here, the left channel. And on the right, we have the FL Digi's QSK right control activated. And that will send 
six milliseconds before the CW tone goes out, it'll send a push to talk uh, tone, which is about one kilohertz at zero dB. And that goes to the second channel here to key the push to talk jack first before the CW tone goes out of FL Digi and goes to the rig's computer to that CW keen circuit that keys the CW jack. And I've noticed that this really helps the Keen Wayfarm arm, this Elecraft K3S. And it has half the, the uh, dit length jitter. And it also keeps the dits from going short when you just have QSK activated from Vox. And so we can still use Vox. The Vox is still on. But if you hit the push to talk first, that will activate this system here to that improves the K3S's CW uh, characteristics for transmitting. Now on the paddle here, we're just using the Vox CW channel one. This just goes to the CW jack, which is on Vox. The uh, SSB we're using lower sideband, and that also is on Vox. So let me demonstrate the CW. You won't be able to hear my voice, but you'll be able to hear the CW. So let's go back to this control. We're using the same company, the uh, FL Digi's software, FL Rig, to control the K3. And we're going to take it from LSB to CW. And I was able to paddle and uh, use a straight key and paddles in real time without noticing any delay as far as my king goes. So this is a real-time operating system using Jack Trip, uh, as long as you're on the local area network. And this will also work on the wide area network over the internet. You just have to port forward your router on the rig's computer, and you have to use a local uh, a side tone monitor because the delay will be too much if you're not using the local area network. So you would have to t turn the side to tone monitor off of your rig so that, that you wouldn't have two tones to listen to. The first one locally and then hearing it return back uh, some milliseconds after that. Which is not a big deal. You can use the side tone. You'll still hear the the QSK audio coming in and out, and it really doesn't interfere with your key, your keen. So that's basically the setup here. We're using again two circuits that take audio and and rectify it and store it up in a capacitor that activates a transistor, and that transistor grounds the CW jack's uh, hot lead so that it keys. And same thing with the push to talk jack. And on voice, we're just using it straight out from the uh, jack trip going to the line input of the rig. And that is, that's what's able to uh, key the voice uh, using Vox. And you can set this up locally, and you can control it with FL rig uh, from uh, another place in the house. Or if you're over the Internet, you can, again, control it. And by having this camera here, you can also take a look and make sure everything's looking okay on the rig. And you can see this meter movement on the uh, watt meter. So that's how to take a uh, jack trip and use it for remote controlling audio and using FL rig to remote control the rig's controls that are available. Thanks for watching.